Damn. We just made a video about deckhands and now it updated again with how the new system is supposed to work. Jesus Christ, dude. Like every day we're getting update. I don't <laughs> I don't think I can keep up with this, but we got new information about how profession would work. And already there's like already like a point twenty, right? This morning we had a point nineteen, which is how the profession works. Um, let's see. Point twenty. Let me review it again. But enemy drop chances are no longer reduced based on how much damage you did to the enemy. This was a level feed feature from a long time ago. That should have been removed for a long time. Right. Well, I'm glad we are getting quality of life changes. That means that okay. If we want to do boss raid, right? Um, like king, right? King boss raid and so on. Based on how much we damage we did, we'll get like the loot, right? That's how it works before. Now, if you hit the king once, you could technically have one person solo it, and everybody would get like, let's say, one percent chance to get like the drop, right? Everybody's equal. We love equality, baby. Welcome to the U.S. <laughs> we love the U.S. capitalism, baby. Gotta make that moolah. Um, what am I saying, guys? Anyways, um, or maybe communism? Am I going crazy today? Yeah, I probably am. It's like 12 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, that's so good. This is huge, guys. I know th this video is about profession, but enemy drop chance changes is so good. Imagine all the boys. You hit them once, and you have same chance drop. It means the rate of loot you'll get while playing together will be higher, and there's something to benefit when you group up together. So that's so nice. That's so nice. But yeah, and then it says you now deal. Now you had, you now have to deal 20% of an NPC's slash boss HP worth of damage in total in order to get a drop oh shit okay well they got us there so technically i guess you can't really right share the boss drop loot whatever blah blah right uh, so that kind of sucks but it's fine yeah 20 percent. i feel like 10 percent might be a little bit better for like you know the, the king right if you have like a, a large party just in case but whatever um, updated shipyard UI to match info. Uh huh. Um, title show. Fixed it deck hands to use with the weapons. They originally generated. I don't think it matters what weapon they use because they don't really do anything besides give stats, right? Or now function with the new profession. But here we go. Let's move, the imp move to the important part. But I'm glad we didn't skip over point 20 because that enemy change might be pretty huge. Who knows? But yeah, um, they can now tell you when they're ready to improve their skill, which means levels right here. From rookie to legendary, which is like the best, right? So, every 25 level, they can upgrade once. Right, so I assume 125 would be max. I don't know how many tier there is, but there's rookie. Then adept, rare, and then like exotic, then legendary. There's five, so quick mats. Okay, I mean that's is 125 level, which is the max equals legendary, right? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, you no longer require renown to be upgraded for deck hands. Instead, cost galleon and multiple of a rare type gem. So rare type gem means that you get using like the sunstone, right? The normal stuff, not the exotic ones like Malisite or like, you know, Morunsi or something, right? So I'm glad that's the case. Rare ones are much easier to get due to the Dark Sea update if you're hunting for the Dark Sea chest at all. But if you're not, I say you might struggle a little bit. <sighs> kind of unfortunate, but that is the case here. Um, maybe they will add exotic gem required. It says the amount of gems and galleons required are depend on the upgrade tier and the <laughs> gem type needed can be any tier or tier gems. 
besides diamond. Why diamond though? Diamond's fine, why not? Um, I don't know, that's kind of biased. Okay, um, no equality for gems, we take those. <laughs> uh, now let's see, we design UI info, not too important I would say. I just double check it, like I'll skim through it. Adept plus deck hands can now prompt you saying that they want to focus on a skill set to better help around the ship, allowing you to choose a profession for them. I don't know why I can't say this word. I, I need to say it slowly, otherwise I'm gonna trip on a rock, trip on air. Tongue tie can't speak today, right? But yeah, um So they say they want to focus on the skill, but really it just when they say that it lets you choose a profession for them. Okay, so you need to, you need level 25 plus ish at least, right? Because level 0 or level 1, I assume, would be rookie, right? So level 25, adept, plus, that's where you get the profession and you can select them. So here's the important part. The deckhand profession options for this update are navigator, shipbuilder, chef, cannoneers, merchants, enchanter. And by the way, you can only have one of each. <laughs> Let me know which combos you guys are going to do and why. I don't think people are going to do merchant though. And maybe chef. Those are like I think the underrated ones or like the low tier one, right? So, but it says navigator, stood study the winds, weather, and see to better assist in ship navigation. Don't know what assist in ship navigation, but I assume this means your boat will definitely be faster, right? I don't know. Study wind, weather, right? I don't know. Or maybe it lets you see the visuals, right? It lets you see the map, right? Etc. Right, because you can see the map right now without a navigator. I don't know if it would change that, but let's see. Um, shipbuilders, study methods of repair to better assist in keeping the ship afloat, which will be huge when you're fighting brigs. Ten, five, you know, whatever brigs that's attacking you in the dark sea. If we're going to the dark sea, that's the case. Um, there's still a lot of bugs to be fixed, really. Um. I'm kind of scared when like profession update comes out, but uh, you know, copium. Anyways, chef is study the cutlery arts to supply the captain and crew with cooked it meals. So I'm not sure cooked it meals like supply the captain and crew. I don't know if crew has any meaning, right? You get like a small buff, like extra speed, or like maybe your crew does more damage, more accurate, or something. I don't know, right? But uh, supplying the captain with food, I assume you get like maybe like an apple pie, right? Or something, which doesn't seem that useful until we see like the effects of it, right? Maybe somebody will have to experiment with that. But uh, cannoneers study ship weaponry to improve the ship's power in naval combat. So I assume that's like mortar, cannons, right? Ram, right? All of those. Wait. Probably not RAM, uh, I don't know, because it does it is like a cannoneer, but it didn't say cannons either, it says weaponry, so that's not bad, everybody will use that for sure, I feel like. And next one would be merchant, set the economy and trade to sell random goods to the captain and crew. Now this one I feel like is a little bit bad, like yes you get a shop, so maybe you can buy and sell stuff really fast, but Maybe if you have a merchant, you could sell for more money, right? So if you, like, you'll be better at negotiating. So that means whenever you sell your item, you get more galleons, right? That would be nice. Or like a discount to buying stuff. That would be also be nice. Because I feel like just selling random goods are not good enough, right? Unless it gives you exotic scroll or something like that. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, right? But I doubt that would be the case. I wish, man. Um, now the last one, Enchanter. I mean, I already kind of have this, but it says, Study the art of enchanting to give ship and crew temporary boost. It is, it's not actual like the Enchanter Enchanter, where you like, you know, <laughs> put different swift power into your equipment. But it says temporary boost, so I assume like, I don't know if it's like, you get like, 
agility buff or something, right? You move faster, reduce stamina usage, or if it's like that, or it's like buff to the ship, like more HP, more damage, like you know, maybe all of them. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused on that. So we're gonna have to wait. Very exciting, by the way. And then next, it says after choosing a profession, the profession will show up when speaking to them. Sure, okay. UI changes. Nice to know. And then the last one it says you can only have one type of profession per deck hand, meaning you cannot have two navigators, for example. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. And then now below are just a bunch of fixes, and we already went over that. Um, wow. Um, video surprisingly really long, but the description for the profession is somewhat vague, but gives us a good clue of like what to expect, right? So, get your gems prepared, get your galleons prepared, and have fun, right? Um, because we're gonna get to killing a lot of ships, maybe? I don't know. Depends how much level they give us. Mm. Yeah, I, I definitely do want to see how much they nerf the deckhand speed, right? Or maybe not, right? I, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Or listening to me, you know. <laughs> And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.